I mean, this bitch, I couldn't say nothing to them fucking kids. Them kids couldn't do nothing wrong. I couldn't say nothing to them. I couldn't tell them to go to bed. I couldn't tell them to get out the room. I couldn't tell them shit. <laughs> Greetings today. You got your girl Rebel here. I ain't doing no affirmation today. I want to jump right on into this subject. Uh, this is something that's been on my mind um, for a few weeks now. And it's like... Uh, time to talk about it i've been debating you know going back and forth whether or not i want to spill that kind of tea but i'm gonna spill that tea so um today i want to talk about toxic motherfucking blended family situations all right people you know get this thing that it's gonna be so much easier to uh blend your family when you have a significant other that has children and you have young children too now, I'm not talking about 16, 17, 18 year olds. I'm talking about children, like uh, under 15. Um, that's, that, that shit is not a good idea. Um, on Google, I'm not going to go into reading all that shit today, um, but they have on there that basically it takes five years for uh, a blended family to uh, adapt to each other. I stayed with, well, I had a blended family with, with my ex. She had four kids. I had two kids. Two of our kids were around the same age. Well, two of her kids was around the same age as my two kids. Put it like that. Right. It wasn't a good experience, y'all. I don't recommend blending families. I really don't. Um, especially when you got some toxic people in the mix and you and they don't even really know how to deal with things. And especially if you're a parent. See, I'm the kind of parent. I, my kids have structures. My kids have a bedtime. My kids have a time where they get up. They got a time when they go to bed. Ever since my children were small, I always had a, a specific bedtime for them. Bedtime was at a certain time because I needed my time at the end of the night for me to gather my thoughts and do things that I need to do and, you know, just re relax and reflect, smoke my weed, get, get my fuck on or whatever I want to do. You know what I'm saying? My children had to get the fuck out my face at a certain time. So, you know, my ex-girlfriend and I, we got all serious, you know, and we're thinking that, um... This is going to go somewhere, you know, maybe we should move in together. Um, we were together a while before we even lived together. And our kids would get together. They would play. It would seem like everything would, all, would be all right. My kids were, uh, my, my my son was like, I don't know. He was bad as hell. I'm just going to put it out there. The little nigga was bad. But the thing is, yeah, he was bad, but I knew that shit, okay? So when my ex would come and tell me things that he did, I would talk to him about it. I wouldn't just write it off like, oh, he didn't do that. That's not what he did. He didn't do that shit. So, you know, I, I always disciplined my children for anything that I was told that happened while I was away or while I was at work. Because I was working to, uh, all the time around the clock. Had six kids to feed. Her four plus my two. Um, I was working all the time and I wasn't there. Toxic shit happened while I was away. A lot of it I didn't find out until later on down the line. Um, you know, after we had moved or whatever. My children were mistreated by the whole family. The whole family. I don't want any, I don't care what any of them says. They can look at this fucking video and say, no, I didn't mistreat your fucking kids. You fucking did. It's all right. I forgive you. Do you forgive yourself is the question. But, like I said, I fucking treated everybody's child like my own. I treated everybody's niece like my own. I treated everybody's fucking uncle like my own. I treated everybody's brother like my own. I treated everybody's fucking auntie, mother-in-law, like they was my fucking own. Understand? But your goddamn, my, my ex's kids and, and, and her fucking kid's father would bring shit over there just for his children, just for his kids. I'm talking about a 20-cent bag of chips. Nigga, you that broke, you can't buy two more extra bags of fucking chips. When I buy two bags of chips for my kids and got to buy your kids, I got to buy four extra bags of chips, you cheap motherfucking bitch, nigga. So, what I'm saying is, if you can avoid it, I don't recommend you blending your family with anyone. I don't care how, how, how well you think it'll go. I'm telling you, it's, I feel like what you need to do is focus on what you got in front of you. Focus on your kids. If whoever you with needs to feel like they need to blend a family and they got kids and you got kids and y'all parenting... Y'all parenting views are totally different. Like I said, these kids, my ex's kids had no structure. They stayed up all hours of the night on school nights. On school nights, these kids stayed up playing video games. 
till two and three in the fucking morning. Elementary school. Knocking on the door all times of the night. Can't even get comfortable. Can't even get laid around that motherfucker. Kids all in the bed all hours of the night looking at you, looking at you trying to make sure you don't get no you don't get your freak on. And, and, and when I say something about it, I'm wrong. Them kids still today, some of the little pussy ass motherfuckers be talking shit, talking about I was mean because I wanted you to go to fucking bed. I was mean because you needed some structure in your fucking life. Cause somebody needed to tell your stupid ass mama to put your asses in bed. To make you go to fucking sleep because you got school tomorrow? What kind of dumbass fucking parents sit up there and let their damn child stay up all goddamn night? Is what I want to know. On a fucking school night. What kind of fucking parent in general don't make the little motherfucker go to bed just to get out your damn face? I've never seen shit like it in my life. I've never seen a, such a clingy ass parent in my fucking life. Listen, we ain't even talking about the fucking kids. The parent was fucking the problem. Stupid ass kids can't do shit but what the fuck they was taught. So if they was taught to be stupid, they're going to be stupid. But if you teach them the right way and to have some structure and to sit the fuck down and go to bed at a certain time, turn the fucking game off at a certain time so you ain't sleeping in class. So like I said, anyway, all I'm saying is before you blend up your family, you need to sit back and think about this shit. Because you got your motherfuckers out here who don't want you to tell their children nothing. You can't say shit to their little kids. The children can do nothing wrong. Because I know my children, they still fucked up from this whole situation. And they're fucking grown. And I still got to deal with backlash from fucking this shit. Putting them through this horrible five years of their life. Being around a whole bunch of people that didn't like them. Didn't accept them. Made sure they knew they wasn't accepted. What kind of sick motherfucking people mistreat children? Somebody explain that shit to me. Because for the fucking life of me, I can't understand it. That's something I told her I'd never forgive her for. For the way my fucking children are mistreated by your whole goddamn family. And you did nothing. This motherfucker got the nerve to tell me, well, your kid, your son was bad. You don't think I know that? But your children were bad too. And when they did things, she swept it under the rug. Her son cut his name in the screen. His whole name put it in the screen. You think she did anything? No. Did she get mad? No. But if my son would have cut his fucking name in the screen, it would have been hell to pay. I would have had to punish him. I would have been looked at sideways if he didn't lose his, his game or I didn't take his stuff from him. But you didn't do none of that shit to your child when they sit up there and deface property in the HOA neighborhood. No, well, nothing done. It got swept under the rug. That, I was just looking at all of this shit this whole time like, this motherfucker don't think I see this shit. My children will be scheduled to go to their father's house on Saturday. Now, mind you, there'd be snacks in the house. My kids weren't able to touch them. They had to ask before they got a snack. Our kids could just go in there and help themselves. Nobody says nothing. Soon as my daughter sneaks a Twinkie, she's a fat ass. Yeah, the bitch called my daughter fat. She said I called her son dumb. Well, he was dumb. Shit. What the fuck? He was dumb. What? The, what, what? So it's not dumb to sit there and make a mess and not clean it up? Shut the fuck up. You're not dumb when you don't fucking understand when your mom says it's time to clean up. You don't understand. You think it's... You sit there and still play the fucking game? You're dumb. Because you don't... Hey, man, Django, shut the fuck up! Fuck! So you gotta be a dumbass if you don't fucking understand English. If you don't understand when your mom says get up off your ass and clean up, you still play the game and your mom's too much of a pump to tell you to get off of it. I'm not, I'm, I'm wrong. She sit there and let him do anything he wanted. Y'all better be quiet. I swear for God, I'm gonna snatch your throats out. Whatever ghost y'all see that y'all barking at, shut up and just look at it. They barking at some shit out the window. They can't. Ain't nothing in that window that I can see. They maybe can see. You got whole grown ass motherfuckers condoning kids ganging up on other kids. Outnumbered. Soon as my kids would leave to go to their dad's house, she let the other kids just have snacks, passing them out. I'm like, oh damn. Could nobody get no snacks when my kids was on. But as soon as my children leave, it's snack time. Woo! So I'm just saying, before you blend your motherfucking family, Cause I ain't gonna even go into all of this bullshit they got online cause it's bullshit. Like the fucking Brady Bunch type shit. All, hand, all, all hugs and kisses. Nah, it ain't all hugs and kisses. So I'm like, oh, some children may need a little more attention than others. What about when you got toxic ass motherfuckers? How about that? Couldn't tell them nothing. Couldn't say nothing to them. 
So people, you need to understand before you go trying to blend your family with folk, before you sit up here and think you just so in love that you got to live together, you better, you better look and see who these people are first. Because this bitch might love your dirty drawers but can't stand your kids. This bitch might goddamn hate your fucking kids and don't never tell you, just treat them fucked up and your kids never tell you. Till so all I'm saying is, I apologize to my kids, but the damage is done. It's bad enough that they have been through you and the pa other parents splitting up. Don't put them through that blended family shit. I'm just saying. If there's anybody who who is thinking about blending their family, you take a long, deep look into it. Because shit be cool until you actually move in with this motherfucker. So you knocking over the dog food now, Django? You won't leave it alone? Y'all need to follow my dogs on TikTok. Follow the Rebel Pack on TikTok. These motherfuckers be doing some crazy wild shit. They, they fucking human, I swear to God. Y'all need to think about this shit and y'all need to check these folks out. Y'all need to make sure this shit is right. Because if the shit ain't right and the shit don't add up, your kids are gonna suffer. They gonna resent you. My kids are angry right now when they fucking grown. On some shit that they went through fucking with a stupid hoe and her and her kids. And I treated them kids good, man. I treated them fucking kids good. I treated them kids like my own damn kids. I never mistreated them fucking kids. All I did was tell them to fuck what was right. Like, take your ass to bed. It's 2 o'clock in the goddamn morning. Turn the fucking game off, nigga. It's 12 o'clock. Turn the fucking music down, nigga. People sleep. That's what the fuck type shit I said. Now, if motherfuckers feel like something's wrong with that, you would you buy a damn stupid motherfucker. But when I can't instill structure into a motherfucker I feed, I can feed your kids, but I can't tell them shit. Fuck out of here. Y'all better think about that shit. Stop jumping in the sack with these folks, man. Stop fucking diving in quick. You better start stopping, thinking, and listening, and looking before... You get into it, folks. I'm telling y'all, blending families ain't a good idea when you got toxic-ass folk in the mix that don't like other people's kids. That shit go on more than they talking about out here. Motherfuckers is not talking about this shit, this blended family bullshit, because that's what it is, it's bullshit. You blending your family up and then everybody hate your children. The whole fucking family ganging up on them and shit. You fuck anybody feel how they want to feel? You know my address? Bring it. Stop blending these families. Because everybody don't mean well for your kids. Like, subscribe, share. All that shit is free. You don't got to pay nothing for it. Like I said, ain't no more knowledge over here. Ain't no games. You want games? Go fucking watch Caillou. But ain't no games over here. Ain't nothing but fucking straight knowledge, real ass shit. Real life experience. Real shit I'm trying to tell your ass learn from my goddamn fucking pain, nigga. Don't blend your family. I'm telling you. Especially y'all lesbians. Hey, don't blend your family. Don't blend your family. Raise your kids and take trips. Take vacations. That way y'all over here, they over there. Tell me. I said, like, share, subscribe. Shit is fucking free. Hey. Right? Peace out, y'all.